Good evening, Southeast Texas. Not a lot has changed in our thinking. Uh, still, there's a small, very small, five to per five to 10% chance we could see some flash flooding. I think it's going to be mainly off towards the east. Just want you to be aware of that. Rainfall amounts, uh, again, it all depends on where that low that is currently over towards Corpus Christi goes up the coastline. If it goes off towards our east, then I think we're going to be in pretty good shape with maybe a half an inch to an inch and a half across southeast Texas. As far as severe weather, I don't think we're going to see a big chance. In fact, may not see anything at all. You need wind shear, plenty of that right now. You also need rotational energy in the atmosphere. Do the winds change with height and direction? Yeah, we've got plenty of that. The third thing that you need for severe weather is instability. This is a very basic model right here. We're lacking on instability. It's like not having any batteries to provide storms to fire up and uh, use that rotational and wind shear energy in the atmosphere. So that's good news. Right now, seeing moderate rainfall extending from uh, Newton County back over to Orange County. A little pocket of heavier rains over towards Liberty Dayton. Otherwise, this is all moving off towards the north and east. Uh, it looks like some of the heaviest activity near Old Salem at, the at this time and uh, just to the southeast of Kirbyville and east of Call. That's moving off towards the north and east, obviously. Rainfall amounts have not been all that impressive so far, and uh, hopefully they don't get real impressive, <laughs> looking at about a third of an inch over into north central sections of uh, Hardin County. Otherwise, we're at 56 over in Port Arthur. MJ Ponsergraw reporting 56 on the Kubota Beaumont Tractor Weather Watcher Network. Further to the north in Woodville, Travis reporting 51 degrees. It's 51 in the Jasper. I think that's our low temperature for the night as we'll be watching a warm front move up the coastline and temperatures will likely go up as we head towards daybreak. All right, down to 36 in the Amarillo, 53 in the Dallas. 48 in uh, Amarillo by morning and 58 currently over into Houston. Otherwise, temperatures are in the 50s across the Lone Star State. As you can see, there is the low and the warm front that's going to ease up our way. Will this low go west of us? That would bring us heavier rainfall and a better chance of severe weather. Right now, most of the most reliable forecast models take it off towards our east. Otherwise, Extensive cloudiness, extensive rain over Texas, all due to this area, low pressure that's getting stretched apart near the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula. That will certainly work with another disturbance to bring us this tomorrow and overnight and uh, may get some breaks coming up by late morning before more rain moves on in ahead of another front that's due in coming up that will clear us out Friday morning. And you can see those two disturbances. First one there, second one right there. They're going to combine forces over Texas in a trough of low pressure. That's what's causing the rains. This all shoots on off to the east, and we'll see a northwesterly wind flow coming up over the weekend. That means good looking weather. On the Gulf, choppy seas around 2 to 4 tomorrow with a southwest wind. Our forecast tonight rain, rising temperatures, and then for tomorrow, 100% coverage of rain, mid to upper 60s, otherwise extended forecast. Beautiful weather expected right on through the weekend after that front comes through Friday morning, puts an end to the rain. Another front comes in Monday night with cool temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday. Coming up, we'll take a look at that ever popular 10 day mm -hmm. forecast. Ten ten day. Well, a nice looking weekend forecast. I think so. To kick Enjoy off it's a keeper. Yeah. All right.